Hello friends, we are here at our second session of grammar. Last In last session, we had learned the eight parts of speech. What are the eight parts of speech? In that, we had described the noun and pronoun. Today, we are going to learn verb. What is verb? Verb manje kriyapad. Verb is a word used to describe an action or occurrence in the sentence. Manjets jo, jo shabda vakyatil kriya vartavto. To shabda vakyatil kriyapad asuto. Manjets running, jumping, dancing, falling, slipping, eating, playing, etc. All these words are verb as it describes an action so we'll see an example of verb please call your mom please call your mom now in this word what is an action calling is an action to call is an action so call is a verb in the sentence Second sentence, Mary walked to school, Mary walked to school, walked manje salna, w-a-l-k-e-d, walked manje salna, so walked is what in the sentence, it is a verb, walked is a verb. Third example, Lewis thought about the math problem. Lewis thought about the math problem. So, thought. Thought manje vichar karne. Vichar karne hi ek kriya hai. So, thought is a verb in the sentence. Ayan reads the chapter in his book each night. Ayan reads the chapter in his book each night. So, reads he kaya hai? Vachane. Reads manje vachane. So, reads is a verb in the sentence. Now, we will see. What is an adjective? Adjective manje visheshan. Adjective means a word describing about a noun. Manje nama baddal adik mahiti denara. Nam nama sati. जे नाम अस्त त्या साथी जी अधिक महीती देतात त्याला अपन मंटो विशेशन That is adjective We'll see an example of adjective They live in a beautiful house They live in a beautiful house ते कुठे रातात घरात House House is a noun But हाउस बदल, घरा बदल, काय विशेष आहे? विशेष है आहे कि हाउस ब्यूटीफुल आहे, मंजे सुंदर घरात रहतात। So they live in a beautiful house. Beautiful is an adjective in the sentence. Second example, this shop is much nicer. This shop is much nicer. हे दुकान खूब सुंदर आहे. हे दुकान खूब सुंदर आहे. So, nicer ही त्या दुकाना बदल ची केलेली स्तुती आहे. पण किती much. Much nicer आहे. मुझे much is the adjective. Monica's hairs are very long. Monica hair are very long. Now here 
मोनिका हेयर हाउ आर हर हेयर हर हेयर आर व्हेरी लॉंग सो तिच्या केसांबद्दल अधिक माहिती देत आहे केस लांब आहेत पण केवढे भरपूर लांब आहेत सो व्हेरी इज अन ॲक्जेक्टिव्ह नाव वील सी ॲडव वॉट इज अन ॲडव ॲडव म्हणजे क्रिया विशेषण क्रिया विशेषण ह्यात क्रिया विशेषण म्हणजे क्रियेबद्दल विशेष काहीतरी सांगणारा म्हणजे क्रिया विशेषण सो अ वर्ड दॅट मॉडिफाईज द मिनिंग ऑफ अ वर्ब ऑर एन ॲक्जेक्टिव्ह ऑर द अदर ॲडव एक्सप्रेसिंग टाईम प्लेस ऑर मॅनर म्हणजेच जो शब्द वाक्यातील क्रियापदाविषयी किंवा विशेषण ह्याबाबत अधिक माहिती सांगतो तो शब्द त्या वाक्यातील क्रियापद असतो आपण उदाहरण पाहूया विल सी इन एक्झाम्पल आय रिअली डोंट केअर आय रिअली डोंट केअर म्हणजेच मला खरंच काही फरक पडत नाही सो मला फरक पडत नाही पण मला खरंच काही फरक पडत नाही म्हणजेच आय रिअली डोंट केअर सो रिअली इज अन ॲडव ही कम्प्लिटली अंडरस्टँड्स मी ही कम्प्लिटली अंडरस्टँड्स मी अंडरस्टँड इज अ वर्ब अंडरस्टँड इज अ वर्ब बट कम्प्लिटली इज मॉडिफाईंग अंडरस्टँड म्हणजेच तो मला पूर्णत समजतो तो मला समजतो पण कसा पूर्णत कम्प्लिटली सो ही कम्प्लिटली अंडरस्टँड्स मी इन दिस सेंटेन्स कम्प्लिटली इज अन ॲडव थर्ड एक्झाम्पल माय ग्रँड मदर ऑलवेज स्माइल्ड चिअरफुली माय ग्रँड मदर ऑलवेज स्माइल्ड चिअरफुली Now in this sentence how is the grandmother smiling she is smiling cheerfully so cheerfully is extra information about her smile It's so cheerfully is an adverb now we'll see preposition preposition is a word used to link noun pronoun or phrases to other words within a sentence jo shabd naam sarva naam kiwa vakyatil kahi phrases astil tanna jodnyasathi jo shabd vaparla jato to shabd asto preposition apan udaharan pahuyat ma tumhala kalelach example the bone was for the dog the bone was for the dog konasathi hota bone for the dog the bone was for the dog ti haddi kutra sathi hoti vakya cha artha ahe ti haddi kutra sathi hoti so bone was for the dog so for is the preposition of the sentence second we are going on vacation in august so in august in is the preposition of the sentence put the vase on the table put the vase on the table so on is the preposition kay ahe put the vase on to vase table avar theva i received a present from riya i received a present from riya so from is the preposition kona kadun ticha kadun kashavar table avar kuthe कधी जात आहे ऑगस्टमध्ये 
कोणासाठी आहे कुत्र्यासाठी आहे सो इन जर वा जेव्हा वाक्यात इन फॉर अबव अंडर ऑन बिलो ह्या हे शब्द जेव्हा एक्सेट्रा हे शब्द जेव्हा वाक्यात येतात ते प्रेपोजिशन असतात तेव्हा ते वाक्यातील प्रेपोजिशन्स असतात टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न ओनली दिस फोर पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच रेस्ट ऑफ द टू वील लर्न टुमॉरो सो टुडे वी हॅव लर्न वर्ब ॲड वर्ब ॲक्जेक्टिव्ह प्रेपोजिशन and in last session we had learned noun and pronoun so overall we have learned seven parts of speech we have learned seven parts of speech which will help us to form sentences and to talk parts of speech speech means to talk so for the homework for today is i want the sentences to be done from you people on verb adverb adjective and preposition i want the examples from you all on the same and any queries regarding the same regarding all the seven parts of speech sorry 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 we have learned six parts of speech six six I am extremely sorry. Six parts of speech we have learnt. Those are noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb and preposition. Now two are remaining. So if you all have any doubts regarding the six parts of speech which we have learnt, please let me know and I want the exercise to be done. I want the examples from you all of all the four which we have learnt today. any queries regarding the same please comment in the comment box thank you we'll meet in the next session bye bye